So here I am in buffalo country. As you see behind me, you see herds and herds of buffalo all around in the area. The Nez Perce Native Americans and the Pawnee Native Americans relied on the buffalo to meet a lot of their needs for their food, clothing, and shelter. They used the food, they could store it as pemmican, which is like a jerky, and they could, uh, it could, uh, they could preserve it using different kinds of salts. Uh, their clothing, they used the buffalo for the fur, they used for robes, uh, the skins, they made uh, moccasins, uh, things to cover their feet with, um, and the shelter, um, you're most familiar with the teepee when you think about Native Americans, but the most important thing about the buffalo, the buffalo provided uh, the bones that helped support the structure. Um, the, the bones uh, were actually made into tools sometime uh, and into uh, weapons to catch even more buffaloes. Uh, but uh, if you see in the area, they love to graze right behind me. Um, but what you would have, you'd have uh, teams of 10 to 20 Native Americans, they would uh, gather together and they'd usually uh, use camouflage or they'd try to hide themselves. They would get closer and closer and try to creep up on the buffalo. Then they'd use a spear and usually would try to catch them that way. Or they would try to force them, uh, the buffalo, into a situation where they would uh, run off of, of a cliff and injure themselves and it'd be easy for them to be able to finish the buffalo off at that time. But um, the Nez Perce Native Americans and the Pawnee Native Americans of the Great Plains, uh, the, the buffalo was essential in, to their existence. And when uh, President uh, Jackson um, ruled that, you know, and, and, he, and he made the declaration that a dead buffalo is a dead Native American. Uh, and we know that that's not politically correct today, but um, with the, the Trail of Tears and the massive migration of Native Americans to the West, with uh, the colonies and the states booming uh, in population, uh, the easiest way to eradicate the Native American population was to eradicate something that was pivotal to their existence, and that was the buffalo.